Greybeard's about to crack open his first ever beer by the Radical Road Brewery, sent to him by the awesome Paul the Beer Guy. Thank you, Paul. Oh, what be going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a Daily Drink Vlog. Today, we are cracking open a bottle of Midnight Oil Imperial Chocolate Oatmeal Stout by the Radical Road Brewery. Never had an Imperial Oatmeal Stout. I don't think I've actually even had an, an Imperial Chocolate Stout before. Let's uh, see if we can... Yeah, that, that grab worked really good. Let's crack her open. And let's see what we have got. I imagine she's going to be a little on the dark side. It's called Midnight Oil. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of black. Like my heart. As always, all the thanks to the Hawaiian rule. Those who watch my videos, the beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Yeah, she's kind of dark. She's kind of really, really dark. <laughs> no light escapes the black hole of the midnight oil. A nice chocolatey looking head to it. Not really any chocolate in the aroma. A little of that kind of coffee smell maybe. Burnt, roasty aroma. Give it a shot. That's not bad. Really not a whole lot of chocolate presence in there though. Never know it was 9%, I have to say that. Nice kind of lingering sweetness. I like it. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And of course, cheers to you, Paul. Thank you so much, man. You're awesome. Of course, I forgot to do that, as I always do. Radicalroadbrew.com. Yeah, is where you will find Radical Road Brewing. They are actually out of, where are they? Uh, I've got them open here as well. So uh, let's see, what do we have here? They're, they're not telling me where they are. Apparently they're bringing back the stubby eight track IPA. <clears throat> they're bringing it back available now. That sounds kind of weird. Story, bottle shop, bottle shop. But why, why does it not say where your bottle shop is? Our story begins in Edinburgh, Scotland. I'm pretty sure that's not where they are. Join us at our tap room and bottle shop, which is located Somewhere, are you freaking serious? Contact us. Did that tell you anything? Hey, they're in Wood. They're in Toronto. They're in Toronto. That was ridiculous. They are located actually right here. 1177 Queen Street East, apparently. There you go. That was way too not easy to find. Sorry. Mmm, that's nice. I don't know if they have anything. Wait, actually it says find slingshot at the LCBO. So they obviously sell something. They sell a California common. Probably their most kind of approachable beer. <clears throat> According to this, they don't have any midnight oil right now. I don't know where, where, where Paul got it, but I'm happy that he did. Quite happy. Oh. And they seem to be a restaurant as well. Nothing really crazy. Like not not a big menu. They've got like kettle chips and some beer nuts and soft pretzels. A couple salads. Sorry, a salad. Jesus. Stuffed plantain. 
sure. Weird sausage board. Cajun catfish Creole. Creole? I don't know. I don't know how to say that word. Barbecue braced beef. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I need to go to Toronto and hit up a bunch of breweries. I really do. Midnight oil, not found, well, it's found on Beer Advocate, but there's no reviews and there's one rating, the rating being 4.11 out of five, I think, which is, you know, that, that little did it. Sorry. Beer's gonna put me to sleep, apparently. On Rate Beer, we don't have enough ratings for a overall score, because there's only one. 3.7. Mysterious Brew, no name. <clears throat> okay, it has a name now. Just the style and ABV scratch, scrawled on a chalkboard is what it says there. Pours darker than a winter's night with a thin skin of foam the color of burnt toffee. <clears throat> Pours darker than a winter's night. Really, that's what you're going to say. Sure. Untapped, we've got a rating of 3.77 out of 76 overall ratings. Uh, great coffee and chocolate, nice light sweet touch. Very nice combo of chocolate and coffee. I'm not getting that much chocolate out of this. A little bit of the coffee flavor for sure, but really not, not that chocolatey, according to my palate. Somebody apparently purchased a bottle of this at Canadian Tire. I, I, I'm going to call bullshit there. <laughs> just a little bit. Nice chocolate taste, not much coffee. Of course. Everyone's just got different taste buds. It's the way it is. Drink number the last. Really is a hell of a minimalist bottle style though. Like all it says is like their website. Apparently this bottle condition? Huh, I didn't even see that. Shit. There's sedimenty stuff that I should have swirled around. Regardless, Radical Road Brewing Company. Your Midnight Oil Imperial Chocolate Oatmeal Stout. Rating. It's a solid nine. For being 9% and going down that smoothly, yeah, that's good stuff. And thank you again, Paul the Beer Guy, so very, very, very much. And that's gonna do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you see more of my videos, be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you got some say to me, put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Like I said before, a bunch of breweries in Toronto I need to go hit up. There's, a, there's so many beers out there that don't make it here to the beer store or the LCBO, and I want to try them all.